Hey gang, welcome back to Lonely Pines, uh, Transport Fever 2, uh, our World Tour Part 3. Other parts, Part 4 series we're going to do uh, before we kick into the actual building phase of everything. So, uh, second last uh, tour, uh, before we get into that, we're down here at the uh, with the benevolent people of Quimbian, uh, with their beautiful backdrop looking out over the peaky, uh, wintry, snow-capped peaks. Uh, and a beautiful little uh, river lake system that hooks up with uh, with the other towns. Uh, that's going to be in the uh, tomorrow's, uh, not tomorrow's, but the next tour we do. That'll be part of that. Today we're going to be riding this uh, this gorgeous little train uh, out through Quinbian. Look at this beautiful sort of raised system they've got going right through the guts of town. Um, so it'll be good. This is probably one of the towards the end of the last series that we we put this in and it goes up to Keith Right up here where I just remembered that we actually had put in a uh, a Quarry at Keith. I'd completely forgotten that we put this massive quarry system in at Keith uh, But yeah, so this is Queenbean. We're gonna kick off the tour from here today and I'll show you where we end up um, Towards the end we're gonna get a flight out from the Gold Coast down to Parramatta Okay, so let's kick into this episode. And uh, let's do it. Three, two, one. Actually, three, two, one, go. Right, so we're taking off here in Queanbeyan. Let's have a little bit of a look around this town as we leave. Let's say goodbye out over there. Goodbye. <laughs> and let's check out this town. Uh, apologies if that. Let's sound the horn too while we're at it. Yep, okay, cute. This tree needs to go. That's uh, overlapping the track a little bit, but uh, yeah. Pretty little track ride through here. I love that it's up a bit high. It's like, a, uh, what do you call it? Like a monorail system. So it'll be good to revisit um, Queen Bean. I don't think we're getting any, any products to them yet. So I think Queen Bean will end up being quite a large town once it, uh, once we get it all sort of basically, let's have a look back over our shoulder. Once we get it all sort of hooked up with uh, products, I think it'll be quite a big town. All right, oh, we're going into a tunnel. Hello, Mr. Driver. Let's go with the... Oh, look, we're driving the train, guys. Oh, this is even better. <laughs> we get to see what the driver sees. Not much. It's got a sunroof, though. That's pretty handy. What if we come forward just a little bit more? Oh, that's even better. A little window. Now, this is a pretty section of track up around these mountainous ranges and valleys and stuff. And Oh, there's been a bit of... A, I thought there was a fire there. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I've got to remember that it's not actually um, What game we playing there was always a fire um, City skylines. Oh, mate, my city always caught on fire uh, That's another game that I, I've, I, I wanted to keep playing But we've just got to move on sometimes and play more other games and revisit some stuff and get back into into other things but uh, Yeah, this look at this valley down through here. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay Didn't know there was uh, oil wells out here but this is pretty damn cool. Massive valley out over there. Sorry, I'm still half cutting through the train. Yeah, I wonder how we'll get to that oil well. All right, this is actually a really pretty, pretty ride through here. I love that these little tunnels are exactly what they are, just little cut throughs of the mount side of the mountain. Oh, this is actually really joyful. Okay, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a hill coming up, but we're on an electric train, New Haven. 
pretty sure it's a New Haven Marine. Uh, and 62 out of, uh, 68 out of 72 people. That's not too bad. Okay, this track's actually, I must have, um, revisited it a few times to make it nice and flat and stuff. We look like we have to do a little bit of, uh, decorating work along here still, but that's okay. That'll come in good time. And that looks like the mountain there, where down below is a massive quarry. So we'll check that out shortly. That looks like the passenger line. Oh no, that's the freight line over there. So we're coming into Keith now. Okay, so the passenger line and the freight line are separate. Is that what we've done? That is exactly what we've done. Okay, so coming into Keith. And, oh, it's a cute little station. Oh, it's a double station. Oh, I've put a double doozy in here. All right, well, let's, uh, lower Keith. Thank you for that. Let's get out, Mr. Train Driver. So this is where we are. This is Keith, and I'll show you in the grand schemes of thing of the map shortly for those of you who are new and uh, didn't see season one. But, uh, yeah, that's that, and that's the freight train we were just talking about. We just came from that way down over down through the valley over there and this is pretty much the edge of the map so a lot of decorating will have to happen out here but i I'm, I'm guessing keith might grow a little bit bigger uh, we've got conmats coming to keith right so conmats will be coming in the shape of this terrain right here oh excellent let's have a look at him for a sec okay so he's got oh he's a mixed mixed uh consist so he's got uh stone carriages and then he brings back our con mats uh, in these shipping containers and just down over here you can see the big quarry drop off oh look at all the stone waiting right he does a drop off five and a half million just for that holy snapping dogfish no wonder why it makes good money right we'll probably probably move on from there we'll check out the quarry I wouldn't mind checking out the train. That's the quarry down here. There's an oil train that's taking crude out of here. Uh, where is it taking it to? I don't know. But let's check out the quarry now anyway. Let's take a little drive on a truck down to the quarry, shall we? Let's find one of these trucks. This one here, this dump truck. Where are you going to? I don't know. But let's have a little ride down into the quarry see what it's like it's quite busy down in there a lot of machinery and a lot of holes and a lot of a lot of dangers like any quarry would be right, right up. oh we can do the horn on this too oh, that's cute not what I expected <laughs> the good thing is though, I had a lot of trouble with that truck station out there uh, with uh, trucks feeding into it and just piling uh, backing up but I think now with that new modular uh, system we can use for the truck stations and for most stations we can actually set that so they can utilize any platform which is going to be really good well, this is pretty cool through here this is a very uh, whoever built this quarry knew what they were doing Let's get a bit of speed up. Come on, let's get down here. Which uh, which way are you going? So there's quarry number one over here. Truck stop number one. Oh, we're going down this way. Lovely. We'll check it all out shortly. I just want... I actually have never done a little drive through uh, down here. So it's quite interesting to see this. Apologies if, if you just want to move on. Um, just skip ahead if you're bored with the drive-throughs, but I like it. I think it's it's all part and parcel. That's why we make these games, so we can actually do these ride-alongs. And I think the developers feel the same way too, because uh, well, there's another there's Keith South, so that's another pickup point. We're going right to the end one, so I picked the right truck to get on. Oh look, that looks like a must be a mine entrance up that way. Well, the bridge has got a little bit of a gap in it, a bit of a dodgy little bridge. Oh look at this water down here. Another mine entrance up that way it must be. Mach heavy machinery working up here. Oh, another little truck stop here. It's actually really cool to drive along. Oh, there's a big truck up there. I wonder why he stopped. Must have a flat tire or something getting fixed. And I'm ready to pick up some stone down here. Oh, yep, there's some stone waiting. Plenty of stone. Right, so we'll get out here and have a look at where we are. We are down in the bottom corner here of this quarry. 
Ooh, look at this steep one down here. Heavy, hard at work, these guys digging away. Alright, good job, fellas. And that's the second one we drove past. And so we come out of the tunnel down here, wend our way around, and that's the uh that's number one, number two, and number three down here for the quarries. Yeah, so pretty happy with the, how this sort of turned out. Probably a little bit more work to do here and there. But all in all, I think it looks great. Uh, you can look at it overhead. That's what it looks like, Keith. Keith is the, like the mining town. They've got coal mines and oil wells and stone mines. They've even got a, <laughs> they've even got a farm out here that we probably should uh, utilize and fix up at some point. Uh, I'm planning, I think potentially we might go into the settings of this playthrough and readjust a few of the advanced settings with the new update to uh, make four products be available to most towns. I think that'll just make it better. Now we came from Quinby and down here, so that train ride we came up through this mountain, it uh, wasn't an easy track to put in, but you can see that beautiful big bridge up there that we were riding along. And how Quinby and cuts through the, the valleys and the mountains here. Pretty cool little cut through. Right, so that's been Keith. From Keith, it's a bit hard to get out. If you have to go back to uh, Quinby and, and get on the ship and get out that way, back to, probably down to Parramatta. We're not going to do that. We're going to cut over here. So this is the oil well train station. A little bit of work has to happen down here to bring this up and make it look look a bit more industrial oil, well industrial sort of maybe office buildings, that sort of stuff out here. But over here, we, we'll just um, jump on. You can see. We've got, uh, oh, we've got more oil that heads out this way. We're not even utilizing these coal mines yet. Okay, that's something that we probably should do before they go bust and disappear. But these trucks down here are taken down to this refinery. And this refinery is uh, just outside of Penrith down here. Now, this is actually getting into a busy, busy um, cargo hub area that we started setting up. I don't know what this road's doing. Oh, this road connects to there, which connects to there. All right, we're going to have to revisit that. That's horrible um what i want to do is i want to take where's this train going is this our tools train right it's the big boy For some reason i've lost i've lost volume there we go it's a little bit better i lost volume myself uh right so yeah, this is coming down into a very busy part of the map. So down here is part... I think it's the tools factory itself is down here. And we've set up a little hub just outside. And I'm pretty sure Penrith... They, well, they don't take they don't take tools at all. They just make them. They make them and ship them, which is fine. Uh, but you can see here there's multiple... This, this is very... Um, it's, a, it's, it's set up ready to go for more, to bring more in, but basically we're just using these two sides just here at the moment, and a lot of stuff feeds through. Actually, we're using this side as well, this back side over here. Okay. Oh, is that a bypass track? Right. Guys, in case you're wondering, like, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm actually doing this to rejig my memory on how, how I've set things up around here. Let me just look at the lines here for a sec. Right. So I've got uh, tools, I've got oil, I've got more tools by the look of it, and green. What was green? Crude. Ship. Crude truck. Why have I got green lines? I don't remember putting green lines in. That's that one. Pax train Penrill. Maybe I just haven't. Uh, I don't think I've uh, changed the color of this properly. So Pax train uh, Penrock Express. Cool. Penrith to Rocky. Oh right, that's a big, that's a big, uh, that's a big drive. That's right down the other end of the uh, the map. Okay, cool. It's good to know. Right, so this is Penrith down here. Uh, last time out, we got the ship all the way up into Townsville over here. But uh, you can see there's two sides to Penrith. Two freight, sort of massive freight areas and another one down here. Uh, this train here, where are you? What are you? Your tools drop off. 
speed up. What are you, son? I kind of want to get a little train around that way. That's why I want to... What are you dropping off? Are you dropping off? To, uh, you're picking up tools and you're taking them back to the docks. Alright, let's ride this one out. We'll go at medium speed. It's a bit of a slower steam train. But uh, yeah, say goodbye to this little Penrith sidings and stuff. And that's the tools factory just down there. Hard at work. Good job, lads. Keep up the good work. So coming down into this, so the Townsville and Penrith have massive car. They're a big, massive cargo port, uh, and they're also uh, big cargo stations. So it's sort of like the South End has um, the big cargo port down the bottom South End, where it does a lot of shipping out of, and it hooks up um, with this top part of Penrith, and a lot of stuff ferries out from here. Now there is another big cargo port that we just started to get in place last time and that's down the, on the south part of this western coast. Uh, and that'll be in the next um, world tour, the part four world tour, we'll, we'll get to that. That looks like a food line over there, I'm pretty sure. These, for memory, these do all merge into the one. Okay, we're just gonna wait here. Let's not wait too long, please. So just right here, you can see is an actual food. Whoa! Oil train. So you can see this is a food uh, processing plant or food manufacturer. Just here on the left. Not much to see. There's a lot of tracks, a lot of trains. Busy little hubs. I, that's what I like to make, like busy little... That's why I think I said in, in last time, I don't really go for speed on my tracks. I go more for aesthetics and busyness and making it look cool and straight over the other side of the water there that's the gold coast over there and townsville there and we'll have penrith coming up here on our right i think we bypass through the passenger terminal uh, which we could take a passenger train but we're actually going to go and we're going to take this freight train all the way through you can see here oh look it's got a new part that's the new part of the uh, passenger terminal. That's pretty cool. This is the old part. And down here, this is... Uh, I love... This is probably one of my favourite little... Um, freight hubs just here. Very busy little um, freight, freight laneway. We can have a look just here. And check it out. Busy little section here. We've got... Uh, oil refinery over here uh, fuel refinery so there's a lot of crude that gets dropped off or a lot of oil refined oil that gets dropped off here and trucked over into the refinery and then they uh, come back and then uh, actually gets uh, fuel brought back here because there's the fuel lines that take refined fuel back to the harbour and then that goes back down to the South Island to, f um, to send um, gasoline and fuel out to those South to the southerners basically so that's how that all works it's very very convoluted system i'm sure once we get back into it we'll we'll get our heads around it but uh yeah pretty cool little uh train station i love this one it does get a lot of trains pass through it i'm trying to just get a good shot so we can see some of the stuff here comes one now oh, that's a passenger we could uh, here comes an oil one this is it into very cool sort of tunnel systems. You've got tunnels over here and tunnels over there. Very busy indeed. Lots of oil pipes and fuel. You can see it being dropped off here. Lovely. And then fuel just here. So it'll load up all that fuel. And it will now take it out uh, down to... Uh, where are we heading? Townsville. And then t from Townsville, it gets uh, dropped off at that station, then trucked down to the port, and then shipped down to the uh, South Island, and then it gets picked up in a train and sent back down around. <laughs> it's quite a long... Oh, yeah. It's quite a long, uh, long journey it takes to get back. Some farms down here. It's pretty... All this was... Uh, it didn't happen in one episode. It took a little few episodes for us to get that farm up and running and looking a bit more farm-like. 
but this is a very busy section of the map. Townsville is a very, very busy section. We're with a big freight hub, big passenger pass through. Oh, we're coming into this lane. Oh, cool. So very busy shipping and oh, the passengers have got a little sound barrier to help them. Oh, don't run straight into the big dirt, mind. All right. So we'll have a bit of a look around here like this. Pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, check out the passenger section while we're in like this. Whoa, there's a lot of people waiting at the bus stop. That is a lot of people at the bus stop. Right, something we're going to have to look at when we get back into it. Yeah, wow, okay. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of little details go into the uh, making these. You can see up here, like i.e. the sand mound here for the runoff for the trains. You've got little gates um, so people can't get through. You've got little finishings on the block walls and fences here and you know it's all it all starts to come together and the good thing about it is we move into the modern era you'll we'll keep some of this heritage stuff so it looks like it's been here for a long time and that's what i'm really going for a bit of authenticity while we're going through this we'll just cut through this building and you can see this is the actual um cargo truck hub where a lot of the goods get dropped off and uh, shipped out here. They get food gets shipped out to the farm. Oh, fa the farm brings food in, sorry, um, grain in. And then the food gets brought back and delivered up. Uh, let's cut out of that. Sorry about that. Gets uh, delivered up to Warnable. Warnable also, uh, they don't get con mats yet. So they really require con mats. Warnable is actually a big city. Um... Now, with the new update, I'm pretty sure there's a feature that we're going to get to, and it's, and it's going to pertain to these big roads here, but it comes to, uh, basically, with the um, lane system, we can now, with waypoints, so uh, I can, sh I'll show you here, waypoints. If we put in a waypoint here, right, just wait for that to happen, okay. So now we've got this line here. Let's say, is this the, uh, I want, what line is this? Okay. So with this new update, manage this line. Let's say, what bus stop is this one? Alexander Road, right? So we get, what's the one before Alexander Road? Is it the Crescent? Okay, so from the Crescent to Alexander Road, if we wanted... If we wanted uh, to drop into this lane here, all we would have to do is come to our waypoint, right, the crescent, and go add this, right? And then from this, we can actually tell, we can tell the vehicle to go into lane two. So that's part of the new update as well. We'll get into that when I do the spring updates as well. That is a new update. But you can actually tell your vehicles what lane you want them to drop to drive in. Alright? We don't want that at all. I want to take that out actually. Okay, so just something for you to for the note. So instead of driving in this lane, you can get them to drive into the lane or vice versa. It's gonna help with your track traffic management for cities. Just to help uh, free up traffic here and there with, with cities that get quite busy. Okay, just something for everyone to know. But this is uh, Townsville. This is our little truck hub freight station. Uh, there's a tunnel that goes through there out to a little food uh, farm that way. Pretty cool. I, I love this. Uh, I actually love this little freight system here. I think it'll look good once it builds up a little bit more. We get a few more buildings around the place. Let me know what you think. Uh, beautiful little Townsville, uh, coastal town. We need them to grow this way a little bit. I might do a little bit of culling in the future and get them to move, merge this way. And this is their wharf down here. We hopefully can get uh, a lot of buildings built down this way as well just to fill in a lot of the gaps down here. All right, from Townsville and Warnable, we're going to get the train up to Sorrento and then we're going to get a connecting... Um, is it a tram? Down, we'll do, do the Gold Coast tour and then we'll get the bus 
to the airport and then we'll uh, fly down to Parramatta okay so we've actually still got a little bit to go so let's hit play again we want to get on the North Lake Express whatever that comes in and we want to go on the um, we want to go on the what I want to say northbound train northbound side uh, more east eastbound east down and bound all right I'll cut to when we get to that I brought us back to uh, just before getting into Townsville because uh, the train was coming through the tunnel I thought why not jump on now this little farm down here this is the actual passenger passenger train so this will take us up to Sorrento Sorrento doesn't have a lot at the moment we haven't really done much with Sorrento it's it's merely just been hooked up as a means to an end and that end was the Gold Coast uh, so there's still cities and still towns on this map that we actually haven't even hooked up just so you know all right there's uh, oh they they meet right in the middle so that's pretty cool that'll be heading to Penrith hello hello people yep so this is uh, we've seen Townsville station anyway Goodbye, Townsville. It's been a pleasure. Yep, so... Details where it's at on this, this playthrough. Uh, if you're after heavy mods... Oh, not heavy mods. Not, not that they're physically hard to lift. I'm talking about heavily modded. Um, decorating and still functioning. Playthrough. That's what this playthrough is going to be. Or this is what this playthrough is. Not going to be. It is that. Okay, there's the vehiculum bridge there running in line with the train and there's the docks down over there which I think I really want to expand those docks and make them a little bit bigger uh, river estuary system gets up very busy we're gonna have to look at doing a lot of shipping waypoints uh, on this map like I've explained in the uh, spring update series we're doing that little road system going down into the uh, Gold Coast over there. I wanted to try and mimic the actual Gold Coast here in Australia a little bit by putting the uh, backwater canals, uh, putting the on the coastline, big uh, sort of sky rise uh, buildings I wanted in there, and a tram sort of system to run around it. And that's what I was going for. But uh, yeah, this train heading up to Sorrento, that's looking down over the Gold Coast and back over to Townsville. And now into a tunnel. <laughs> Less appealing tunnel. And coming up to Sorrento. Oh, quirky little Sorrento. This was actually, I remember now putting this track in, it wasn't as easy as you think. Trying to... Uh, on such a map that's got a lot of big mountains, it's, tr it's hard to try and get your tracks smooth. Holy snapping duckfish, look at all these people. Right, well, a lot of people were trying to get out of Sorrento. Right, well, that's a popular little line we have to look at. Cool. So this is Sorrento. The train makes decent money. We could put some bigger ones on there. Oh, we got on Gordon, the big blue engine. Yeah, Sorrento with its connecting tram service here. It's got a it's got a bus commuter. It's actually quite a bustling city. They just don't have anything here. They don't even get any products yet. But what they get is a lot of people. So yeah, Sorrento is definitely a city that we got to look at. But for today, uh, can we get a tram up here, please? Here comes one now. All right, this sucker back out. We'll get him to speed up a little bit. Not much to see. We could get the commuter and go around town, but I just don't think it's really worth it. You can see over here is Duffy, and that's the big Duffy International Airport and Innisfail uh, over there. All right, so we'll get on board our train just here. We'll go at two times, I think. Hopefully that doesn't make people too sick. Busy, uh, busy place, though. And this is us heading down into the Gold Coast now. We'll do a little ride around the Gold Coast. Whoa, being overtaken by the beetle. Hey, hey, it's a beetle. The big pink Cadillac. What a weapon of a vehicle. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the old tram and bus depot. 
Bit of grass coming through there. Someone needs to weed that uh, weed that road. So this is uh, oh, let's go one time. It's quicker than I thought. Down over here, expansion ready to be built on for the Gold Coast, and uh, you can see what I mean by backwater canals down here. We'll have a closer look once we get off the tram. That that way that down there, that is the airport over there, the Gold Coast Airport. So uh, big Boulevardy roads. I wanted to, I wanted it to have that Gold Coast feel about it. You can see like holiday apartments up there on the left. They're probably not holiday apartments, but you know what I mean. Come on, why are we waiting here still? Traffic lights. Let's go a little bit quicker. Big mountains up in the background. So like it is very Gold Coast. Beach on the right. Hinterlands up on the left. Uh, yeah. And then it does a big uh, sort of cut through the city. Well, it goes along the coast front, and then it comes back down through the uh, through the town. For memory, anyway. You can see down here. Oh, here's the beaches. I've actually, um, I've actually now I remember put um, a no build zone along the beach down here further to give it that coastal feel still. Uh, there's a few places that have cropped up along the beach, like some shops and stuff. But for the most, down a little bit further, no one's allowed to build. You can see it's just getting out into the sort of suburby areas of the Gold Coast here now. Past this Wieners. So this is all beach along here. And uh, we'll pull into the Mill, mill Road uh, Terminal. Right, so which is down here. So. All this down here has been zoned beach, and a lot of the stuff in here as well. There's just a few places that have been built on here. You can see their big, the big beach they've got, and you can see their backwater canals. Right, and hopefully we can get them to build all in around here, like they've started to do. They've started to do it. That comes out out over to here, and this one. Possibly we should extend that through there, I think, just to make it look like it's got water coming in somehow. But if you think somehow the water would uh, be coming through underneath, that's how I like to think of it. All right. And obviously the trams go around the city. Pretty cool little thing. So that's the Gold Coast. It's got a pretty good, like, pretty cool looking, if you ask, what I, if you ask me. Some trees there that probably, these houses here probably need to go, to be honest. And that's Sorrento up there. Townsville. Penrith. We'll have a look. We'll have a big... Uh, before we fly out. So this is the top. This is the part we've just looked at. So we've gone Quinbian. Keith. Over here. So there's Penrith. Big cargo system through Townsville. Warnable. Up to Sorrento. Gold Coast. Uh, there's Humpty Doo. Humpty Doo hasn't even been hooked up yet. Neither has uh, Cal Barry. Still require a hookup. Nightcliff, we've just started to do stuff with because they have a big freight uh, airport thing over here. Barry only just got a hookup last time out, but we'll get to that later. It's now time to get the bus out of the airport and make our way into Parramatta. Uh, where can I get a bus from? Probably the terminal. <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, yeah, this one here, the Gold Coast Airlink. Appropriately named, wouldn't you think? Yeah, okay, where's that bus? Oh, he's coming back. Where's your mate? Your mate's in here, in town. We'll get this bus. We'll do it from this view. Oh, no, no, no. Put me back on the bus. Alright, so the bus needs a little bit of maintenance, uh, that's for sure. These bus drivers don't really clean their bus as much. Okay, so goodbye Gold Coast. We'll see you for another holiday again next time. I, I really want to get some buildings built out this way though. That is the plan. Try and force the AI to build out that way. And it's going to happen... Oh, see that? See how we just did a jerky chain... Uh, lane change we can fix that with that new lane system that I was telling you about it changed lanes though because um, it Looks like the terminal is up here the uh, bus terminal for the for the hair port 
This flight out of the Gold Coast would be quite nice, actually. Oh, this is a trash bus. A lot of, lot of vehicle maintenance we're going to have to get into, I think, uh, when we get back into this playthrough. Alright, so let's wait down here for our plane, shall we? How many planes have we got? Just the one Gold Coast of Parramatta. Uh, we've got to find which terminal it pulls into. This one here. So we've got to wait down here with the people. Good news, our plane has just landed and <laughs> it'll, be here it'll be here very shortly. Where are we? There it is. We're at two times. Oh, there's some people here now. G'day, sir. G'day, ma'am. Right, we'll head down. I didn't want that. I wanted this. Uh, I think we'll do it from this view today, will we? wonder if these guys uh, have good management on their vehicles. No, they don't. They don't look after their vehicles at all. So this could be a dodgy flight out of Gold Coast to, to Parramatta. Uh, that's it. That's been uh, episode three, or part three, of our world tour. Uh, I kind of want to do it from this view as we fly out. Over. Yeah, that's been part three. I hope you enjoyed it today. Uh, still a 40 minute one, even though it wasn't a lot. So that we've got a lot to cram in to next uh, World Tour part four, the final part, potentially. Hopefully we can get through it all. Uh, part four will come up. And then straight after that, we get into the building phase of everything to get back, to get our heads back in the game. And uh, we might change a few more settings. I'll take you guys through the settings as we do them before we kick into that playthrough. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Stay tuned for more action on the channel. Plenty of farming sim. I'm really loving farming sim. So if, you, uh, if you've never really watched it or been interested in it before, just come and have a look anyway. It's, uh, it's a bit of fun. Um, yeah. Uh, spring update series is still going on strong. We've got plenty to do in that. That is for sure. And then uh, obviously this is going to kick on also. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen. Uh, enjoy this little flight. I might go at two times speed. Enjoy this little flight down to Parramatta. I'll do a little bit of looking around as we go. There's Penrith over there, Townsville, and there's the Gold Coast flying out of. Oh, that's the horn. If you hit the horn on the plane. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, guys. Stay safe. Stay glued to your screen. And I'll see you guys very soon.